What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan the Bugman here and today's video is all about the Asian Tiger Mosquito. If you have been bitten by a mosquito, there's probably an 80, 90, 100% chance that it was an Asian Tiger Mosquito. These are an invasive species and they are all across the United States. They're super aggressive and they transmit tons and tons of diseases. So in today's video, I'm going to explain to you everything you ever need to know about the Asian Tiger Mosquito. I'm going to show you how to get rid of the Asian Tiger Mosquito in your backyard. And I'm also going to let an Asian Tiger Mosquito feed on me so we can get a close up view of exactly what it looks like. Trust me, there are plenty around here. I am in the southeastern United States, guys. No matter where I go, whether it's Florida, Kentucky, North Carolina, Alabama, Missouri, these Asian tiger mosquitoes are infesting the whole United States and they are particularly bad in the southeast and any warm area with moisture. So there's a very high likelihood that you have Asian tiger mosquitoes feeding on your family, pets, and yourself. So today's video is going to be very important at taking a big step and keeping yourself and your family safe from these tiger mosquitoes. It sounds pretty vicious. A tiger and a mosquito mixed together. Well, they are just mosquitoes. And today's video is all about this species. So thank you guys so much for watching. While you're here, guys, if you will, please, please just smash the like button. It takes two milliseconds and it helps me out a ton and I would really really appreciate it so thank you so much and let's go ahead and get back into it if you haven't heard guys the Asian tiger mosquito is taking over the United States here's a news article explaining how even in the last few years these tiger mosquitoes have gotten even worse spreading throughout more parts of the country carrying more diseases so it's very, very important guys. Asian tiger mosquito, it's also known as the forest mosquito. Although there are dozens and dozens of other mosquitoes across the southeastern United States and United States in general that are problems, the Asian tiger mosquito is the biggest problem. It's the most aggressive, it's invasive, and it carries diseases. It doesn't carry different diseases than all the other mosquitoes. It's really, really aggressive. This is a mean mosquito and they are out to get you. They need your blood to make their babies. They rely on your blood, so they're not stopping until they get a sweet taste of your blood. They're called, of course, the Asian tiger mosquito because they are, in fact, native to Asia. They're native to that China, Southeast Asia area of the world. But as so many bug species are, and with the world economy now, guys, these Asian tiger mosquitoes are globalized. They can be found across the whole world. As with all mosquito species, only the females bite you. The males and the females flee eat nectar. That's what they get for their energy. But the reason the females bite you is because the females need the sweet protein that is found in human blood that they use to make eggs that they lay in water. So in a few minutes here, I'm gonna walk around, get some of these mosquitoes stirred up. I'm gonna show you exactly what these Asian tiger mosquitoes look like. But in general, mosquitoes are very, very small. They're not microscopic. You can definitely see mosquitoes. Most mosquito species are about a centimeter long from proboscis to the back of their wings. A lot of people see things like crane flies, you know, big flies flying around like this big, and those are not mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are quite small, but they're not gnat sized and they're not microscopic at all. You can see mosquitoes, but that's part of their evolution is they're almost invisible to see. They're very small, very skinny legs, very light insects. So whenever they land on you, you can't sense anything. And the Asian tiger mosquitoes are the best at this. They're mostly black. They blend in with their surroundings perfectly and they've got white stripes on their legs and abdomen that help them blend in even better. So the black and white striping on these mosquitoes legs and abdomen, that is why they're called the Asian tiger mosquitoes. And why are these mosquitoes so aggressive? They feed throughout the day, morning, middle of the day, evening, even nighttime, mosquitoes come out and feed. And these Asian tiger mosquitoes are especially persistent. Whenever they're feeding, if they get brushed off and the females don't fill up their stomach with enough blood to make the eggs, they keep on circling around trying to feed again. They're very persistent. And that's one of the reasons why they've been labeled as the most aggressive mosquito species. Today's Asian tiger mosquito video is sponsored by BrioStac. BrioStac is a pest control software company, but we're gonna talk a little bit more about BrioStac later in the video. So why should you treat your yard for these Asian tiger mosquitoes? Well, I'm about to tell you, and there's plenty, plenty of great reasons why. First of all, but not primarily, they are extremely, extremely annoying. Nothing is worse than having an amazing outside experience ruined 
by a bunch of aggressive, nasty little mosquitoes. They itch, they swarm around your face, they get in your ear. They're extremely, extremely annoying. That's not the big problem, guys. The second main reason, most importantly, why you need to make sure your yard is Asian tiger mosquito and mosquito free in general is because these mosquitoes transfer diseases. They are vectors for diseases. Now these mosquitoes don't actually have the diseases that I'm about to mention in their blood. They're not actually infected with these diseases, but what they do, these nasty little mosquitoes, is they transmit them from human to human, from dog to human, from human to dog, anything like that. They suck the blood of one animal. They don't get a full stomach, like I said, these Asian tiger mosquitoes. So they go over to another human or another animal a few yards or a few miles away. And whenever they bite them, they first mix in a little of that other blood from the other human or the other animal. And that is how they transfer diseases, guys. It's extremely, frankly, disgusting to think about that they're mixing other human and animal blood together but that's what they do it's happening on a very very microscopic level so you'll never notice that you got more blood from another animal but that is what's happening and that is how they transmit diseases here's a list of all the diseases that asian tiger mosquitoes transmit they transmit eastern equine encephalitis malaria west nile virus yellow fever and heartworms yes the famous heartworms that your dogs and cats have to take pills for those are actually transferred by mosquitoes humans actually get infected with heartworms too but our immune system fights off the heartworms and the these are little worms it's not a virus or bacteria they're actual worms but our immune system fights off the heartworms the dogs and cats immune systems does not so that is how you your dog or cat gets heartworms is through mosquito bites. Uh, there are actually dozens of other diseases, some of them less important than those I mentioned, but those I mentioned are very much active, very, very important. Fun fact, a lot of people do know this actually, but mosquitoes are considered the most deadly animal in the world. The most aggressive of all of these species is the Asian tiger mosquito because they transmit diseases like malaria that kill people. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people throughout the world are killed by the diseases that mosquitoes transmit. Uh, so if you're trying to protect yourself from animals, don't worry about those sharks. Don't worry about those hippos, alligators. Worry about your mosquitoes, guys. Those are the ones that transmit the diseases. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of them. Uh, there's a couple of easy things you can do that's going to help. You can cut the grass. You can make sure all your leaves are trimmed around your house. Eliminate harborage areas for these mosquitoes. You can make sure there's no little puddles of water for them to breed, lay their eggs into. For the most part, guys, this is not going to eliminate the mosquito population around you. For the most part, if you live in an area with mosquitoes and you have a normal sized backyard, then you need to have some sort of mosquito control program using insecticides or some other product that eliminates mosquitoes. What my company uses and what I personally recommend and think it's the easiest, most time efficient thing to do is use a residual micro encapsulated insecticide spraying around the harborage areas that mosquitoes rest during the night and daytime. For example, the product that I have been using for years and highly, highly recommend is the Duraflex ZC by CSI Pest. This is, like I told you, a micro encapsulated insecticide made specifically for mosquitoes. This is a concentrate. We mix it with water. This is exactly the treatment I use as a pest control professional. You mix it at one fluid ounce per one gallon of water and apply it with a backpack fogging device. Now, I don't have this device today, but I'm going to show you videos of how I've used this device before. The tank in this still backpack fogger I'm using today is approximately four gallons. So that means I'm going to put four fluid ounces of the Duraflex ZC inside of it. I mix it together and then I apply it around the exterior perimeter of the customer or or myself's house, guys. When I'm throwing a party on Friday night, guys, when I have all my Dan the Bugman friends over, I use this product in a still backpack fogger and I spray the heck out of my backyard. All the grass, all the shrubs, for example, like behind me, all of these trees would need to be treated. You need to target the foliage that they rest on. So whenever these mosquitoes land on it, they pick up the chemicals on their little legs, little antennas, little proboscis, and they die from that product. And it works extremely well. It works extremely quickly. Because this product, and it's not just this product specifically, but because 
mosquito products are applied with this backpack fogging device, they leave very, very, very small particles. That's why they're so effective. They cover an, a very, very extensive surface area. But since these particles are dispersed in such a wide fashion, that means they're very, very small. So that means they are unfortunately easily affected by things like weather and just natural decay. These products are incredibly safe, but since they're so safe, it means unfortunately they don't last forever. There were some good old insecticides back in the day called DDT and uh, uh, Chlorodane, and some other like really scary sounding chemicals that would last months and months outside. But the pest control industry is much advanced since then. A product like this, when you're applying it to the outside perimeter, it's going to give you a residual for one to two, two and a half, three months. But when you're applying it for mosquitoes and you're applying it up trees and in the grass, guys, it needs to be applied quite frequently. And this, this really depends on a number of factors, but my company and what a lot of companies across the industry recommend is this treatment every three weeks. So not even monthly, guys, more than monthly. Some companies do it monthly, some companies do it every two weeks, but every three weeks, is right at that golden spot where you have great, great coverage throughout the year before the product starts to dissipate. Filling every three weeks, it's quite difficult if you think about it. It's not monthly, it's not twice a month. Sometimes you have two appointments in one month, sometimes you have one appointment in one month, just depending on how the calendar falls. And that's why my company relies on the BrioSec pest control software. I don't have to count 21 days between stops. I just tell BrioSec, hey, I want my mosquito services every three weeks and tell me when to go and boom it put on the calendar super super easy guys and it, it makes the world of difference when i have 120 mosquito services for different customers across the county i rely on briosec and i rely on duraflex zc to make sure all of my customers are safe from mosquitoes and all the diseases they transmit throughout the summer in my experience we start mosquito spraying in about mid-april and end it September 30th. Mosquitoes are able to survive the winter, but they are not active in the winter, guys. That's with almost all bugs. They overwinter, come out in the spring, and the summer, spring, and early fall is when they're feeding. So we're gonna try to find a mosquito to feed on me. I'm covered in all these like pretty heavy uh, pants right now. I've seen a couple flying around. I don't think I've gotten any major bites yet, but <laughs> it's funny enough, if I take my shirt off and start doing push-ups then mosquitoes, they're gonna start swarming me. So I'm going to do that. That actually leads me to my next point. Mosquitoes sense animals by their carbon dioxide that we breathe out and also body heat and also just like the smell of your humanness. We can't smell it obviously, but mosquitoes can sense it. And we're gonna get a uh, Asian tiger mosquito to feed on me. I'll just cross my fingers here that it's not going to transfer any diseases today. Like I said, um, it has to come from another animal or human that has diseases so i'm just begging my neighbors dogs and my human neighbors to not have any diseases that they're going to transfer to me via mosquito today so let's do that and i will uh i'll see you guys in a second whenever i have a asian tiger mosquito feeding on me please excuse my hairy legs but it only took a few seconds for one of these bad boys to bite me if you look closely you can clearly see the unique black and white stripes obviously this mosquito had no problems feeding through my leg hair and they can even bite through shirts i decided to just smash it though so we can get a closer look here so there it is guys that is the asian tiger mosquito that was just biting my leg asian tiger mosquito black and white stripes so as always guys thank you so so very much for watching this video please let me know if you have any questions about the asian tiger mosquito they are a big, big problem, and I hope that this convinces you to get a mosquito service going. You don't necessarily have to use a pest control company. You can do it yourself. I've made videos about doing it yourself, mosquito services, but if you have the time, if you have the money, if you have a family, a yard, kids, dogs, even yourself, I would highly recommend getting a mosquito service set up for the your general protection and well-being. So I will see you guys next time. Uh, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.